Okay, finally some flute content, and something new for the channel, a budget rod and reel review. But first, just a reminder that private lessons are available for the upcoming fluke season. I've spent the winter tightening up the lesson plan, so to speak, and I'm looking forward to relaying a ton of info to new people in 2023. I'll leave my contact in the description below, and I'm also offering a 10% discount for early bookings. Anyway, here's a look at the new Daiwa Tatula XT seven foot three medium spinning rod and the Shimano Otegra 2500. So nicely tapered EVA foregrip. This is a kind of up locking reel seat I prefer on all my spinning rods, by the way. The lower part of the blank incorporates an X braiding tape. The rest of the blank is bare with a gloss finish. Sort of a faux carbon fiber lock nut it's a Fuji reel seat, but definitely feels pretty plasticky. The EVA is also a little spongy, and the guides are, quote, Fuji O-rings, which probably means aluminum oxide. Perfectly functional guides, no problem whatsoever. This rod can be had for 80 to 90 bucks off eBay, and it's definitely the sleekest, best-looking $80 rod I've come across. Now, the reel I chose for this combo is the Shimano Otegra. And the reason I went with this reel is it's the lowest tier Shimano that comes with X-Protect. Now, in my experience, this labyrinth feature actually works to keep salt water out of the reel. The rod weighs 4.1 ounces on my scale. The reel weighs 7.9 ounces for a total weight of 12 ounces. So not the lightest combo, but light enough to jig with all day without any issues. <laughs> oh, jeez. No. Stop. Stop. Is wrong with you? Sensitivity on this rod is, as you would expect, merely adequate. In normal conditions, light surf and light wind, I had no issues detecting the average fluke bite. Fluke aren't exactly subtle fish after all, but keeping track of exactly what my jig is doing is another story. I find myself having to index the jig more to give it more time between pops and jigs to make sure it's settled back down on the bottom. Every now and then, a fluke will eat the jig very lightly. And here you can see me completely missing that bite. Oh, okay. Of course, I'm used to much higher end rods. And I think if I were to spend more time with the Tatula XT, I would become more in tune with it. Now under these conditions, forget it. Can't feel a thing. 25 mile per hour crosswinds, even the most sensitive rod would be a borderline proposition. So average weight, Average sensitivity, good balance, excellent handle ergonomics. But what really impressed me about this rod is its action. It has a very crisp, lively tip for working that single jig properly. Then it smoothly transitions into plenty of backbone for a proper hook set. The taper and action is pretty much spot on for this kind of fishing.
As to who this rod is for, I would say obviously anyone on a budget and also anyone who only has, quote, saltwater rods in their lineup. Inshore rods from St. Croix or Tsunami, God forbid, that sort of thing. And who wants to get into light tackle jigging for fluke in a proper way? I've said it many times before, but it bears repeating. Fluking is a freshwater bass size problem, at least in shallow water or from shore. And there's no more competitive space in the fishing industry than freshwater bass tackle. This rod, retailing at under $100, is the result of that fierce competition. I couldn't imagine such a well put together rod at this price point even five years ago. Having said all that, Doubling your budget to that $180, $200 price point will buy you a lot more rod. Rods like the Zodius, the Tatula Elite, which just got refreshed this year, the Daiwa Rebellion, etc. They will be noticeably lighter, more sensitive, and have better components than this Tatula XT. I still think that $200 price point is where most of the value resides in fishing rods these days. But after playing around with the Tatula XT for a couple of trips, fishing it under varying conditions, I must say that for 80% of the fluking I do, this combo is more than adequate. It's actually a pleasure to use. Okay, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.